In this video, I will demonstrate how to deploy your first load balancer in Volterra with a web policy, but not through the user interface, but through Terraform. So first of all, what you need, you just need an access to the GitHub. So you can find the GitHub repo here. I put the GitHub in the description of the video. So the first things to do is to clone these repo. Okay, so in the repo, we're gonna have several examples, but I'm gonna, use, I'm gonna use only one. Okay, so first of all, clone the repo in your in your laptop. Use your favorite editor. I use Visual Code, but anyway. So when the clone is done, just open the folder. Perfect. So. As you can see on the left side, there are several uh, folders. We will, we will focus on an external load balancer, HTTPS with an auto cert from Let's Script for a new web policy, this one. So the main.tf is the provider. You can see the, pro the Volterra provider. Then I just have to set the variables. The variables are my tenant. This is F5 SA and my my key okay so i have a key from uh, from the volterra console so download an api key and just define where is your api key okay that's it so i have certificate.cert private key dot key i'm good and i go next to the plan and this is the plan pretty pretty easy okay first of all my namespace my namespace is M like Mathieu, Derek, and Dev for uh, for the Dev. Then the origin server. So here, as you can see, I create an origin server. Okay, an origin server is a pool member. It's a destination. The origin server. It's an application running somewhere. I don't have any clue where is the application, but it's sentence.yme.f5sc.com. You can try to go to this application. It's port 80. So far, so good. Then the web policy. Okay, it's a brand new one, OWASP top 10, default settings, okay, to make it simple. In blocking mode, as you can see here. So let's give a name, WAP demo TF for Terraform. My namespace is still the same. So as you can see, I have to enter several times the namespace. If you prefer, you can create a, a variable for the namespace and put this variable in variables.tf, okay? And the third part is the load balancer itself. So the namespace again, the public FQDN. So it's auto cert. So it means it's managed by Let's Encrypt and it's also managed by Volterra for the DNS. So let's say demo uh, tf, okay, dot volt dot emia dot f5ac.com. So this domain volt.yme.f5c.com is managed by Volterra. And I request an HTTPS auto cert, so Volterra will request for uh, a certificate from Let's Sound Script. Namespace again. Okay, so as you can see, every object requires uh, a, a namespace. Then some option and which WAP to refer. So please use the WAP policy that I created previously, this one, okay? And the namespace of this web policy is this one. We are good, okay, it's finished. So now just init, plan and apply. All good, so Terraform init. You can see today version 11.2. Terraform plan. Okay, let's check the plan. I have first a WAF policy. Okay. In blocking mod, I check if my namespace is okay, the name is okay. Then I have to create a load balancer. Namespace is okay. This is the name of the load balancer referring to the same WAF policy. So far, so good. The destination is this origin pool to this namespace. 
and let's check if the origin pool is okay. The namespace is fine. So far, so good. Free object to create, makes sense. So Terraform, apply. And yes. Easy. Okay, so now let's have a look in, in, uh, in the tenant itself, in the user interface. So we created three objects. Okay, so the, the, the WAP policy is the, is the longest. Okay, but let's have a look. It's here. You can see WAP demo TF has been created. Then I, we created an origin pool. Okay, so it's this one. IP internal, and then let's see the load balancer. The load balancer is this one, okay? So it's not yet green. I have to wait a few minutes and it will become to green. It's green. So now I should be able to go to this app. It works, okay? This is the application protected by Voltaire. So now I can refresh the page and you can see a new sentence, but if I try to do an injection or cross-site scripting, it's blocked. This is easy. This is how you can protect any application with Voltaire uh, in few minutes and Terraform.